Hey y'all. Uh, today's objective is standard deviation. This is a measure of spread. So this is one of the measures, the uh, statistics that will tell us about the spread or the variation of data. So standard deviation shows how much variation from the average exists. So it's talking, uh, standard deviation uses the average, the mean. So a few things. We're going to do the standard deviation by hand and by the calculator. I'm going to show you both. The mean, we denote it like this. It's an X with a bar over it. That's our symbol for mean. And standard deviation is this little symbol, and it's a sigma. It's a lowercase sigma. So if you see this, that is the standard deviation. Now, don't copy this down. Just look at it. Do not copy this picture down. If you already copied it down, I'm sorry. But this graph shows uh -oh, really close. the standard deviation, <clears throat> and here, this black line right here, that's the mean. That's supposed to be the middle in a bell curve. And the standard deviation below and above, so one standard deviation below, one standard deviation above, encompasses 68.2% of the data. It's 34.1 on each side. Two standard deviations, if you went out two standard deviations on each side, that would be 95.4% of the data. So it's all of this and all of this. So the reason we use standard deviation in statistics is it shows you the variation of the data. 95% of the data is within two standard deviations. Um, and so it's used a lot of times in statistics to show how far something is spread out. Here are the steps to find standard deviation by hand. So copy these steps down, and then I'm going to go through an example with you. First, you find the mean of the data. Then you have to find the deviation from the mean, which is subtraction. What that means is you have to find out how far away each value is from the mean. You're going to square those deviations. You're going to take the average of all those squares. And then you're going to take the square root, because you have to undo the square that you did in step three. So here are the steps by hand. All right, so let me show you with an example. Example one, find the standard deviation by hand. So here's our data, one, two, four, eight, and 10. First thing is we need to find the mean. So we have to add them up, 10, 18, 20, 24, 25, one, two, three, four, five, divided by five. So the mean is five. First step is you find the mean. Second step is you have to find the deviation. How far away are these values from the mean? So 5 minus 1 is 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So I subtracted the mean and the data to find the deviation, and I kept them all positive. Once you find the deviation, step three is you square the deviations. So now I'm going to just take them all and I'm going to square them. So 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. Now that I have all that, I'm going to add them up to find the average. So the next thing you do is you take the average. So 16 plus 9 plus 1, plus 9, plus 25, and it's 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5 is 12. So I found the average of the squares, and the last step is I need to take the square root of 12. So I'm going to type in my calculator the square root of 12, and I get about, and we've been, oh no, that's not right. All right, so I get about 3.4. So my standard deviation is 3.4. So that was a lot of steps. I hope you were able to follow. I'm going to do another example with you. Ms. Beeman, please call extension 100. Ms. Beeman. Okay, example two, find the standard deviation by hand. So we have some data. First thing we need to do is find the mean. So we add them all up. So, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. 
18 divided by 9 is 2. So the mean is 2. Once you find the mean, you have to find the deviation from each data value. So 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, 0. 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1. So I found the deviation. I found out how far away these data values are from the mean. Now I need to square them. So I'm going to square them all. 4, 0, 0, 1, 0, 4, 9, 1, 1. Once you square them, now you go and you take the average again. So I'm going to find 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 9 is 18, 20, 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 21 divided by 9 is 2.3, repeating. So I found the average of the squares, and it's 2.3 repeating. Now I have to take the square root of 2.3 repeating. And my standard deviation, whoops, my standard deviation is about 1.5. 1.5. So I hope you can see that. All right, by hand, it's a lot of steps but the calculator is going to become your best friend. Write down the calculator steps. You input your data. You have to hit stat. So once you input your data, you have to go back to stat. And then you're going to arrow over to calc. One variable statistics. That's what we're in. One variable statistics. You press enter. You press enter again. And then you have your standard deviation. Remember, you want to look for the sigma. So you're looking for the lowercase sigma. All right, so here's some data. If you have a calculator at home, I want you to try with the steps to see if you can find the standard deviation in the calculator. If not, copy the data down, and in class, we're going to do an example with this data on the, on the calculator to make sure everyone knows how to find the standard deviation on a calculator. And then we're going to practice with some more problems in class.